because of the National Victory Day, we went outside of St. Petersburg on Saturday. We traveled to Pushkin and explored Katerina Palace and Park, which was the summer residence for the Russian Tsars. We then visited the Grand Palace of Peterhof, which was built around the 1700s by Peter the Great. It had an amazing garden with probably over 150 fountains. The sunshine was great and the people we were with were a lot of fun. We stopped in Helsinki, the capital and the largest city of Finland. It was founded by King Gustav Vista of Sweden to be in competition with Tallinn, Estonia. We traveled around the city by hop on hop off. I decided to hop off and see the Kisma Museum of Modern Art. There I found a very interesting artist using found objects. I found his work to be fascinating and then discovered some painters and their artwork that I truly enjoyed also. seeing the art, I walked around the city of Helsinki, discovering many different hidden areas that were quite interesting. 
One of the things I've realized about myself is I've become a train enthusiast after living in Europe. So I found myself there at the train station and then using their mass transit. Also discovered some interesting people hanging around the Senate Square. Coming into the port this morning was reminiscent of the main coast. Maybe not as rugged, but it was heavily forested with islands and homes scattered near the water's edge. Stockholm, a city made up of many different islands, was a fun place to experience, from the water taxis to just wandering the old cobblestone streets. It had us walking up hills to see old churches, down winding streets discovering hidden restaurants and coffee shops. So this, this city has a lot to offer and I wish we could have stayed longer. Copenhagen. Mostly it's known for its Little Mermaid, but I've seen other things. I've seen the changing of the guards in many countries, so when I heard that they were doing it here, I had to see and compare. I've noticed every country does it differently. Copenhagen, like Stockholm, was a beautiful city. Its many canals, cobblestone streets, boats, people out and about makes it a town that you would just love to hang out in and experience. You need more than just one day to see these cities as they have so much variety to offer. We saw the royal yacht that we had actually seen in the Faroe Islands last June. We saw the Little Mermaid, and we also saw 
her older sister, who doesn't get much notice. We're heading to Munich now, and then we have just two more weeks before we head home.